Government has continued defending the removal of subsidies on fuel and maize. Vice President Guy Scott says the subsidies benefited not only the rich within the country, but beyond the country's borders as well. If we send you cheap billy meal here for sale, it will end up in Zumbo again. Because where is our subsidy for the Vice President? And in this town especially, when we bring cheap petrol here, it goes to Zumbo in Mozambique because it is more cheaper than to bring it from here, to smuggle it from here, than to bring it from Tete. So that's another problem to this so-called subsidy removal is that it makes stuff leave the country. The ones who get the subsidy are your neighbors in Mozambique, in Zimbabwe, in the Congo, in Tanzania, in Zimbabwe, in Namibia, in Angola, in Botswana, Chasira, I think. Dr. Scott was speaking in Fera when drumming up support for PF candidate Patrick Ngoma ahead of June 20 by elections. It's not only the road, there's also the power system, Zesco. There's also school, a secondary school going up in this constituency. There is also a hospital being built. I've seen it from the air. Meanwhile, five candidates have successfully filed in their nominations. The five candidates are UNIPS, Charles Kanyama. The confidence is from the people on the ground. I've done my homework. Narep Samo Sikonga. I only hope is Narep with fresh ideas and issue-based politics. MMD's Ella Spiri. There was. There are problems of uh, lacking of adequate and uh, safe drinking water. UPND Yuleri Angoma, do you think you are the best candidate? I think so. I Why? don't doubt. I'm second to none. And PF's Patrick Ngoma. To follow development, because PF is giving us development in Luang. You know, for the first... I, I... The parliamentary by-election arose following Patrick Ngoma's defection from MMD to join PF. Bruce Mwale, Movie TV News, Luangwa.